Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll see the solution of the challenge that we shared last week. At the beginning, let's quickly remind ourselves of the challenge itself. On the left hand side, I have a table containing the employee's data. I want to create a table using Power Query. It will use information coming from this small table containing only two columns, band and department, in order to filter this data. I'm going to start by trying to filter the band. So I'm going to write A and then enter and right click here and refresh. And here you go. I have all employees with band A. I need to limit my search to only people inside the legal department. So I'm going to write legal. And here you go. I have limited my search to only one employee with band A and working for legal department. If I want to expand my search to A and B for bands, so I'm going to write B and enter. For sure, the table will be expanded. Right click and refresh. And here you go. Employees with band A or B and also working for legal department. Let me try to expand my department to sales as well. Right click and refresh. And here you go. I have employees working for A or B and working for departments legal or sales. Actually, I noticed a common mistake in the solutions I received, which is basically if one of the two columns is empty, one of the two search columns is empty, actually the final result is an empty table, which is for sure something that we need to take care of. And this is exactly what we are going to try to solve during our solution. Before moving forward to the solution of today, I want you to take a look on my new website. You'll find the website address now on the screen and I'll put it also in the description box. Actually, this website will contain all my content, but in a more organized way. So you can search in the Arabic and the English libraries. You can find the different series. You can move from one to another very easy. Also, I'll try to put some additional content like articles or photos, or even I will open some discussions on this website. So please have a look on the website and register your name Put your email in order to receive email notification when I update the content of the website. As usual, I was prepared with only one solution for this challenge, which is basically based on table.select rows. And this contains the two functions that we used in the previous challenge. And I added to them table.isEmpty and if statement in order to solve the issue that I talked about at the beginning of the video. However, I received another very brilliant solution from Osman Abu Ziyad. He also used list.contains and table.select rows, but he added also list.max in a very smart way in order to reach the same result. I'm going to start by presenting my solution based on if statement and table is empty. And then I'm going to present the other solution received from Osman based on the list.max. On the left hand side, I have the data table containing name, ID, band, and department. I have a small table in order to input my search criteria into two columns, band and department. So I'm going to start by searching only for the band, and then I'm going to develop the query as we go. I already pushed both tables into Power Query. I have two queries as a connection only data for the source data and multi-column filter for the search criteria. I have only two queries with couple of steps, the source and the change type step. Same for the multi-column filter, source and change type. So I'm going to start by just adding a very simple filter to this query. So I'm going to try to utilize the user interface. I'm going to the band column and I'm going to press the filter button and let me uncheck all. I'm going to select any random filter. Let me select B and click on OK. And now the table filter down to only employees in band B. You can see that a function generated called table.select rows. The input for this function is the previous step, the table coming from previous step, which is basically change type. I'm going to change the name of this step because I'm going to use it multiple times. So I need an easier name, rename, and let me call it something like data and hit enter back to the filter draw step. And let's have a look again on the formula bar. Now I have a reference to the data step, the very previous step, and then each and after the each keyword, I have the condition for the filter, which is basically the column band if equal 
to the letter B and it is hard coded between couple of quotations. I need to change this one so I'm going to delete everything after the each keyword and I'm going to use the function list.contains. List.contains require a list of values. The list of values that I'm going to use for the search, it is inside the query multi-column filter. So I'm going to write multi-column filter and then I'm going to open a square bracket and I need to bring the list of values inside the column band. So I'm going to write band and then comma, the second parameter or the second argument is the values that I'm going to compare against, which is basically the column band inside the data step, the table coming from the data step. So I'm going to use again the square bracket and I'm going to write band and then comma, the very last argument, which is basically the equation criteria. I'm going to use comparer.ordinal, ignore case. This will help me to ignore the case sensitivity while searching into this column. Now I'm good to go. I'm going to hit the check mark and here you go. You have all and only employees with band A. I'm going to change the name of this step also. Right click and rename. Let me give it a name like band search because this step is searching only for the bands. At this stage, I'm going to stop and let's have a look together on what we have. So I'm going to close and load. I already loaded this before as a connection only. So I'm going to change the load option, right click and load to. Let me select table and existing worksheet. I can use something like column J and click on OK. And here you go, I have my output table and here I have my search table. Let me add another band like B. I can put it like in a small, right click and refresh. It's working perfectly. Let me add something like department, like let's say sales or legal right click and refresh it is not working if i removed the band right click and refresh again i have a very empty table let's go back and try to change or add another step in order to search for the department back to the data query and double click what i'm going to do is to add another step exactly like the one i have for the band search so i'm going to the formula bar i'm going to copy the entire code just after the equal sign, control C to copy. And then using the FX, I'm going to add another step and I'm going to delete everything and then paste. I'm going to refer again to the data step. So I need the table coming from data step, the table before the filtration. I'm going to use list.contains multi-column filter again, but instead of band, I'm going to change this to department. This will change the column to department and also the values that I'm going to search against, I'm going to change from band to department. Now I'm ready. This step is searching for department. The previous one was searching for band and I can just hit the check mark. I think I have an error. Yes, the department is not written correctly. So I'm going to correct the spelling and hit the check mark again. And here you go. You have all the employees working for the sales department. I can change this step to something like department search, rename and department search. Let's close and load for the moment. The table will reload. I have all employees working for sales. No problem at all. But now let's try to search both together. I need to limit my sales employees only to something like band C and then hit enter, right click and refresh for sure. Nothing will happen. I have only one step searching for the band. I have another step searching for the department, but each and every is working independently. I need another step to search for both columns together. Let me go back to the query data. FX to add a new step. I'm going to expand the formula bar. I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to use control V in order to again paste the same code. But now I need to add another condition into the same table.selectRows function. So inside the function itself, I'm going to add another condition by writing the end and then I'm going to use again the list.contains. So I can just copy the code one more time. And then after the end, I can just add the same code and I can just change band to department and hit the check mark. And now I have this step searching with both columns together. So I can just rename this to be both. And now let me close and load. I think now I have all the possibilities. I can search for band only. I can search for department only and I can search for both together. Accordingly, I need something to help me to select the right step. 
based on the condition of the search table or the search criteria. So I'm going to use the if statement together with table is empty function. Let's go and see how we can do this together. Let's start this part by just searching one value inside the department column. So I'm going to delete the C from the band column. I have now the band column empty and I'm going to refresh this query. I was expecting to see all the employees working in the sales department, but this is not the case right now. So I want to fix this. So I'm going back to the data query, double click in order to launch the power query editor and I'm going to check each and every search step that I have right now. I have the first one searching for the band. The band column is empty so there is no lines here. It's an empty query. Department search. I have one value inside the department search which is basically the sales. So I have all the employees working with the department in the second step which is exactly what I'm expecting in this case. When I search only for department I was expecting that I see all the employees working for the department that I'm searching for. The final one is both because I have only one column filled, the other one is empty. So the both step, as you can see, is empty. So the key here is to identify which table is empty out of these three tables. And the perfect function to do that is table dot is empty. That's why I'm going to use it in a new step. I'm going to use the FX and I'm going to start by writing table is empty. Here is my choice and then I'm going to open a bracket. Let me start by checking the first search step which is basically the band step, the band search. Here you go. So I'm asking if this, the band search is empty and I'm going to do the check mark and you see the outcome is true. So the outcome or the results of the table dot is empty function is true or false. The true meaning that the table is empty and you can see here the table is already empty and false if the table is not empty. So in this case, if the table of the band search is empty, I want you to use the department search. And let's start to think further ahead. What happens if both are not empty? If both are not empty, meaning that I have value inside both tables, I need you to go for the both step. And this is exactly the logic that we are going to write using the if statement. So I'm going to expand the formula bar and just before the table dot is empty function, I'm going to write my if statement. I'm going to write if you can see it should be written in small. And then after I'm going to write then. So I'm telling the query, if you find the step band search empty, please go to department search. This is exactly what I want. Afterwards, I'm going to write the keyword else. What if it's false? If it is false, please do another check. I want you to check the department search itself. So I'm going to write another if and then table dot is empty one more time. Open a bracket and I'm going to write department search. And if you find it empty, please go to band search. That's great. And else if both are not empty, please, this is the else, the final else of the second if statement, the else will be, please go to the both step. And this logic is exactly what I need in order to select the correct step based on the conditions that I might have inside this table. If this table has values inside the department only, this logic is going to pick the department search. If it has values inside band only, it will pick the band search. If it has values inside both columns, it will pick the both search. Finally, I want to change the name of the final step, right click and rename. Let me call it selection and hit enter, close and load to. I think it's working perfectly now. Let me add ba a band, like let's say band A, right click and refresh, working perfectly. Let me delete the department, right click and refresh, all the band A is okay. Let me add another band like B, right click and refresh. Let me add any other random department like legal, right click and refresh, all working perfectly. I managed to pick up the right search step based on the conditions of this table or based on my selection inside this table using the if statement together with table dot is empty function.
Now let's have a look on the other way of solving this challenge based on the solution received from Osman Abu Ziyad and it is based on the list.max and I call this solution something like using flags. That's why I already duplicated the data query into a new query and I deleted all the steps after the change type. And again, I gave it an easy name like data because we are going to refer back to this step uh, multiple times. Why I call this using flags? Because it will use flags. Flags meaning that I'm going to add some columns and for each and every column, I'm going to flag the lines or rows that I'm going to use in the final filtration for this table. So the first flag that I want to add to this table is regarding the band. So I need to flag all the lines containing A or B. Any line of band A or B, I need to flag it with a true or false or something like zero or one. In order to do so, I'm going to the add column tab and I'm going to select custom column. I'm going to use the same names that we used before. So I'm going to call this band flag. And then inside the formula section, I'm going to type the list.contains function and I'm going to open a bracket and let me think about the requirements for this function. The first requirement is a list of a list. So where is the list that I'm going to use in order to search the list inside the multi column filter query? So I'm going to write multi column filter and then I'm going to open a square bracket and I'm going to select the band column and then comma i need the list of values that i need to match the list of values inside the band column that i have here so i'm going to just select from the column list and then comma the final or the third argument which is basically the equation criteria in this case it will be comparer.ordinal ignore case and here where i'm telling the query please ignore the case sensitivity let me close the bracket for list.contains and hit ok and here you go i have a new column containing trues and falses the true inside any row with a value a or b inside the, the band column you can check here i have true with a here i have true with b and so on and so forth but i need to change this true or false into one or zero because i'm going to use it inside a calculation later so i'm going to edit and before the list that contains i'm going to use again the if statement so i'm going to write if then if it's true if the list that contains is true please put one and else please add zero and then hit ok and here you go the true converted into one and the false converted into zero let me change the name of this step i'm going to call it band flag i need another column exactly like this one but checking for the department so i'm going back to add column custom column i'm going to call this department flag exactly the same i'm going to use the list.contains this time i'm going to check the multi column filter but for the department column comma i need to check this against the department column from the existing query or from the current query and then comma comparer dot ordinal ignore case and then close the bracket let me use the if before the list that contains so if and after the list that contains i'm going to type then one and else zero and then hit ok and here you go i have another flag or another column any row with the value legal inside the department column has the value one you can check here i have legal the value is one if you go down a little bit again i have legal the value is one i think the logic is working very good now the next step for me is to think about one column to represent the value of both searches of, or both flags. The solution presented by Osman was just adding both columns together. So I'm going to select the first column and then press and hold control and select the other column going to add column. And from standard, I'm going to select add and this will add a new column with additions. Now let's analyze the values inside the addition column. You have only three values and you can check this from the filter. You have zero, one or two. The zero if both flags are zero and one if one of the flags is one and two if both flags are one. And here you go, you have something like legal. 
legal and the band A, you have both flags with a value 1. So you have the final value in the addition column as 2. And this is exactly, in this case, the value that I need to use inside the filter. However, this is not the only value that I need to search for in all cases. Meaning that, think about the case if you have one column empty, so in this case you need to search the value 1 because you are searching for only one true condition. So meaning that in some cases you are going to search for 2 and in some cases you are going to search for 1 and this is in the addition column or the column representing the addition of both flags. So the best function that can help you will be the max function and this is exactly what has been done by Osman. So I'm going to use again the user interface. I'm going to just select any value from the filter. Let's say the zero value and I'm going to edit the formula from the formula bar and let me look at the function generated automatically. It is basically table of select rows. You will have the very previous step which is basically inserted addition and then the each keyword and then the condition I need to edit this one so I'm going to delete everything after the each keyword and I'm going to use the list.max and then I'm going to open a bracket what exactly I need to find the max of this will be the additions column the additions column inside the inserted addition step so I'm going to type hash pound and then open double quote and I can just select the inserted addition. I need the column addition and I need the list.max to be tested or matched against the addition column from the table that I have right here. So I'm going to write addition inside two square brackets and then hit the check mark. And here you go. You have the number two for all the rows, meaning that I have legal with either A or B and this is exactly what I want inside my search table. The very final step is to delete the extra columns that I added in order to do the flags. So I'm going to select the band flag and then press and hold shift and I'm going to select the addition, right click and remove columns and I'm good to go home close and load. I already loaded this before into a connection only. So I'm going to change the load option, right click and load to. Let me select table existing worksheet. I'm going to put it inside column O and click on OK. And here you go. I have two identical queries. Both are giving the same exact result. Let's try to check both together. Let me delete the legal. I'm going to data and refresh all. Here you go, both are working perfectly. Let me add something in the department, let's say legal. And I'm going to delete the band and again refresh all. Here you go, let me add something like band B and again refresh all, all working perfectly. Thank you very much Osman for this brilliant solution. Last but not least, a very special thank you for everyone contributed to this challenge. I'm going to start by Osman Abu Ziyad, who shared the very brilliant solution that we presented during this video. Thank you to all of you. Shihab Sagheer, Fathi Taha, Roy Wilson, Haysam al Tahan, Saeed Mbarki, Omar Afakir, Abdullah Mishal, Mikdad Mari, Gabriel Raigoza, Alejandro Simon, Thank you everyone. See you in the next challenge. Cheers.